fertilizing your plants in the winter sounds counterintuitive, right? Wrong. There's a lot of benefit to feeding your plants and specifically foliar feeding your plants in the winter time. This is specific to your evergreen plants and your tropical plants, which includes mangoes and your avocados, your citrus, your passion fruit vines, but also again, your ornamentals, including your camellias, gardenias, and so much more. All of that can benefit. And I'm gonna give you a tour of a lot of the plants that we're gonna together foliar feed our plants. Here we are in the month of November, and we're gonna continue doing so every month during the winter month to give our plants all of the nutrition it needs so that they'll be at maximum bloom come spring and maximum fruit yields come summer and just optimal health and performance from year to year. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants and author, saving the world with the home garden. And in this lesson, we are featuring Ivory Organics latest innovative, organic, effective, USA-made product, which is the Ivory Organics all-purpose fertilizer, nutritional foliar spray product, which includes 10 tea bags, specifically for creating your own, up to one tea bag makes a gallon of foliar nutritional spray that you can put on your prized plants to get them through optimal health during the winter months so that they can perform at their best come spring, summer, and going into fall harvest. Before we get started, let's go and discuss the fertilizer chart map that we've always discussed from year to year and the importance of fertilizer at the different seasons throughout the year. Let's get started with that, follow me. So here we go, we're gonna just draw the axis, Y and X. We're gonna start off with winter, spring, summer, fall, and then back to winter. And then up here is gonna be the fertilizer amounts to give your plants. And when it comes to winter, we always say your plants are pretty much, that's the time when the soil is getting cleaned out by the rains. And we're basically refreshing the soil if there's any excess salts or anything in the, in, again, in the soil. It's going out. Also, the light hours are at the lowest time of the year. The plant's metabolism is at the slowest time of the year. So it wouldn't really make sense to really feed your plants much in the winter. Come spring, we all begin fertilizing our plants. But it's truly in the summer, the, the plant's metabolism is peaking. The light hours are at the maximum. The plant's metabolism is at the maximum. It's flowering, it's growing, it's fruiting, it's doing all that it does, um, peaking during the summer months. Specifically, the most important time to be fertilizing your plants the most is in May, especially if you're doing it organically. That way, the organic fertilizer has an opportunity to break down the soil biology, which includes the earthworms and the beneficial bacteria and the mycorrhiza are breaking down those organic fertilizers, making them readily available for the peak light hours of June. Then by fall, early fall, we offer the plants a little more fertilizer but about half as much so that they can have all the elements within the plant cell walls and in preparation for the winter months a healthy plant that has all of the macro and micro nutrition within the plant will better fare the harshness of the winter months and then as we go into winter we cut back on fertilizer almost entirely but we don't give up and that's today's lesson is foliar feeding Ivy Organic All-Purpose Foliar Feeding Nutritional Fertilizer with its 10 tea bags can make 10 gallons of foliar nutritional spray to benefit all of your evergreen and tropical plants on your property. And one gallon should be enough to pretty much cover a pretty good homestead footprint. And the cost comes out to just under $2 per gallon, which is a great investment for your plants to make sure that they have all of the nutrition that they need during the winter months so come spring, they're at maximum bloom capacity. And ultimately the goal is with all the blooms is they end up with fruit set and ultimately fruit yields. You can continue foliar feeding your plants during the, all the seasons of the year. But this specific lesson is on the importance of winter foliar nutrition. As I know, most gardeners across the country are doing a lot less in their garden. This is a time to offer a little bit of care. This is just one quick thing you can do, putting in about an hour a month into the foliar nutrition of your plants 
to get them off to the optimal performance come spring of the following year. For those of you that are familiar with the Ivory Organics all-purpose fertilizers, we pride ourselves on creating a product that offers your plants all six macronutrients. That includes not just the NPK for your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which most fertilizers pride themselves on offering, but the Ivory Organics all-purpose fertilizers also include the magnesium, sulfur, and calcium. So you got the NPK, MG, SCA, all of the six macronutrients that plants need in abundance. In addition to the tea bags also include just as a super blend formula, the azomite, which is crushed volcanic rock, offering the plants a lot of the micronutrients, which is also very important to the plants overall health and metabolism on plant functions. There's an article by the University of Florida that I'd like to share before I demonstrate the use of the Ivory Organics Foliar Nutritional Spray. And this is a article titled, The Foliar Fertilization and Citra Culture. And I just want to highlight that it's common knowledge in agriculture that properly nourished crops may tolerate insect pests and disease. And foliar nutrition is a key factor to stimulate the natural defense mechanisms of their trees to induce pest and disease tolerance and to improve fruit yields and fruit quality. Foliar application of fertilizers is more efficient than traditional soil application because of better, faster nutritional uptake and reduced loss. Supplemental foliar feeding can increase yields by as much as 10 to 25% compared with conventional soil fertilization. Foliar fertilization should not be considered as a substitute for a sound soil fertility program. Foliar nutrition has proven to be useful under prolonged periods of wet conditions, drought conditions, calcareous soil, cold weather, and any other condition that decreases the tree's ability to take up nutrients when there's a demand. Foliar feeding may be effectively utilized when nutritional deficiency is diagnosed. Foliar application is absolutely the quickest method of getting the most nutrients into your plants. However, if the deficiency can be observed on the tree, then the crop has already lost some potential yield. Again, this is the importance that if you see that your plants are turning yellow in the winter months, then even though they may recover with your spring fertilization programs, if they're not healthy and strong in the winter months, they're already going to be impacted with their flower and ultimately fruit set production that following year. This is the importance of the winter foliar feeding nutritional program that I hope all of you are going to incorporate this season. So again, let's take a look at the product here. You can see it's the Ivory Organics. It's got the Super Blend Plus Azimite product, Armory certified for organic gardening. As you can see here, it makes 10 gallons of product. The NPK is a minimum of the 333%, but it also includes all of the primary nutrients. That's your NPK, contains all the secondary nutrients, calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. And if you take a look here on the back, you can see the percentages of the primary and secondary nutrients, as well as the complete exhaustive list of nearly a dozen ingredients, including volcanic ash deposit, which is your azomite and all the benefits that come with those micronutrient nutrition. When you take a look at the product, we're gonna open it here. And within it are gonna be 10 of these tea bags. You're simply gonna put it in some water and soak it for at least an hour and up to 24 hours. And you can see, let's see in just a short minute if I can get the color of the water to change. But you can see it really does take some time. This here has been sitting for an hour, which I prepared just before the lesson. And you can see that some of the nutrition is starting to now come out of the bag and we're gonna be left with a solution that does not require to be filtered because it's in the tea bag. The tea bag is 100% biodegradable and can be added to your compost bin once you've got all of those macro and micronutrient nutrition out of the tea bag. And what we're gonna do next is just add it right over here to a gallon which I've labeled over here as my fuller nutritional spray bucket. You can see that the water is right at the gallon mark. It's a two gallon container. And what we're gonna do is simply take the solution here and add it to our gallon of water. The tea bag again 
should not be thrown away. There's still a lot of value to this tea bag, which can be either one dried out and added to your soil the following you know, spring, or you can just throw it into your compost bin to ensure that your compost bin has got all of the macro and micronutrient nutrition that would otherwise be in that tea bag. But we've got a lot of the elements in this solution now to now benefit our plants. And now as we go and foliar feed our entire property, I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the tropicals and evergreen plants that I would encourage you guys to also consider foliar feeding to make sure that they're at their best performance come spring. Follow me. When foliar feeding your plants, it's really important that you don't just get the top side of the leaf, but also the underside of the leaf for maximum absorption of the product. This here is my Meyer lemon, and we've got three of them. Over here is a dwarf variety of lemon known as the Ponderosa. And even though it's a dwarf on a dwarf rootstock, this is a giant lemon variety. So if you want giant lemons that are delicious as well, consider the Ponderosa. This one over here is one of the newest additions of citrus to our property called the Genoa Italian Lemon. And I've been adding a lot of citrus to our collection. And the source of a lot of our citrus here on our property is from fourwindsgrowers.com. Um, I highly recommend you check them out. They have a lot of other fruit trees available as well. And this here is my Eureka Lemon Tree. It's a semi-dwarf rootstock and is believed to be derived um, from California. This here is our variegated pink lemon. And then last but not least is my Lisbon Lemon. The source is obviously from Portugal and we have since, and together again, I'll give you the link, we grafted onto it a Ponderosa lemon here in the back. And then in the front over here, we've got a Mexican lime. So we've got limes, giant lemons, the Lisbon lemon, which is a lot closer to the Eureka lemon in size. And we're in the process right now of doing the approach graft with a kumquat citrus as well on top of the Lisbon. So this is gonna be a four in one citrus tree that is just about done. And I'll share with you the links all of the lessons that we've done with this particular citrus. Let's continue the tour. You can foliar feed your bamboo, avocados, blueberries. You should also foliar feed your loquats. This one here is just completing its bloom cycle. You should also be foliar feeding your passion fruit vines. You can also foliar feed your olive trees. You can also foliar feed your roses and your palms. To get your hands on the Ivory Organics all-purpose foliar nutritional spray tea bag product, simply click the link below this video description or go to ivyorganics.com. If you've enjoyed this educational lesson, be sure to give us that thumbs up and most importantly, share us with your gardening friends and family. And as always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all Happy gardening. Also, here's a sneak peek to the Growing with Charles Malky podcast. Check this out. Here is a sneak peek of the Growing with Charles Malky podcast studio, where we will be discussing all things life. From here, you will be able to not just watch us, but you can also listen to us wherever you go. The first 10 podcasts will be taken from the 10 chapters of my book, Saving the World with the Home Garden improving our planet's health with natural gardening lessons. And after those lessons, by early 2022, I plan on interviewing experts from all areas of life, including, as has been most recently, my specialty in the plant sciences, but we're also gonna discuss animals. We're gonna be discussing law. As many of you know, I'm also a Florida lawyer, and we're gonna be talking about the importance of the environmental movements that many people are bringing to um, being here in Southern California, there's several people I want to introduce you to. And the list continues on ways that we can all improve our daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly lives to better impact and improve the health and quality of the one planet we all share. If you or someone you know would like to be a guest on the Growing with Charles Malky podcast, 
feel free to email us at info at ivorganics.com. Additionally, if you're a gardening influencer, we welcome all of you to also contact us at info at ivorganics.com to become a member of the IVO affiliate program, which compensates you significantly better than um, stores such as the Amazon affiliate stores, as well as other competitors. Ivy Organic is proud to be a part of cities across America planting more trees each year. In fact, Ivy Organics is donating up to $5,000 annually and applying is easy and email us today again at the same email address at info at ivorganics.com for participation, rules, and details. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube podcast channel and other social media platforms. The links are in the below video comments for your convenience to stay informed of all of our educational lessons as soon as they become made available. And as always, Keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.